I want to talk about the mechanics of picking, how to hold the pick, how to move it, angles, that kind of stuff. I hope uh, it will help you get the sound that you want out of your picking. Um, when I first started playing guitar, I held it almost backwards to how I, I hold it now. I used to hold it with two fingers and my thumb, and in order to get a good angle on the string, which you need for it to go over quickly, I would sort of angle it back like that. And it's, it sounded good, but it started to hurt my thumb because it was pushing the thumb back into my hand. So after eight years of that, I completely turned it around and decided to hold it on the side of my first finger. And in order to make that happen, the thumb has to bend forward and the first finger has to pull back. And you can see how if, uh, if my finger continues to pull back, the thumb angles more and more. So really, this where this first finger is controls the angle of the thumb. And all that matters because it changes the sound of the string and that kind of cello-y, brushy kind of sound. And that's what I like. I like that kind of cello-y, swish, swish, swish kind of sound. If it's, too, if it's too parallel with the string, that disappears. You can hear it. But as I angle it, you begin to get that nice little brushy, scratchy sound. And if I have any advice for most people when it comes to picking, it has to do with the tone of the string. And if you just use your ears, the ears are just as important as your fingers, to, to just slightly change that angle until it really sounds good, it really sounds like a good tone. And even when you put distortion on, it'll still sound like a cool cello. Obviously, I'm not picking hard, but with a lot of distortion, if you pick hard, it just gets messy. And we want this to be nice and clean and controlled. The next thing is to be able to control your accents. You know, be able to hit hard or even hit a harmonic, a pick harmonic once in a while. To give you an example, you might want to hit where the snare hits in a rock, you know, heavy metal double bass drum beat that's going like deka 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 deka. And I'm trying to accent where that snare drum would be. Now the motions that make that happen are really small. And I can try to explain them, but I think the best thing I can say is to use your ears and just to move that pick back and forth a little bit using your first finger and the angle of your thumb to, uh, to make sure that the sound is good. And then I'm using a little bigger motion to get that nice pick harmonic. You can try other strings. That is a lot more aggression than, than just uh, the notes by themselves unaccented. That still sounds good, but I like when you can accent with a snare and go daka 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 daka. That's when your head starts moving. Now I'm just doing open strings now. Obviously, you can throw in more complex things with the left hand. You know. all alternate picking and I really do prefer alternate picking for faster things to any other kind. Um, alternate picking is just doing a downstroke and then an upstroke and, and continuing that uh, in that fashion just back and forth. Um, sometimes there's more efficient ways of picking but they break up the groove of just that back and forth kind of sound and also um, with with alternate I can get bigger motions and although bigger motions aren't as efficient they're bigger, and bigger sounds louder and more rock and better. And I, I like big and rock and louder. And so even for fast things like this, I, I like alternate picking. Let me slow that down real quick because it's a really good picking exercise if you haven't worked on a lot of this before. 
key to life here is that the, the high E is an upstroke. And then the next string is a down. And every time you come down and hit that high E, it's going to be an up. And again, as you do this, of course you want to be able to make it faster, but also really listen to what the tone of the strings are doing. You can listen as I slightly change the angle to how the, how the sound changes. And especially when you start adding distortion, that little, you know, the little scratchy sound really sounds good. Also, please, please uh, don't do what a, lot, what a lot of beginners do, which is to just make your left hand do something uh, that is slower than the right hand. I really want you to sync up the hands and don't cheat and play three notes and pick really fast. You know, it, it sort of gets the effect, but you know, I just personally I can't go there. I really want my two hands to lock up and be synchronized and be uh, dead on accurate. To me, that's that's metal.